Good morning, Bonadier, 2nd of June. And we're on the Costa Blanca, the most famous resort, of course, apart from Benidorm, this is a lot quieter. And we're up on the promenade, Torre Vieja promenade. We're gonna check out this latest work going on, this 19 million pound project, all these super bars and restaurants, underground car park, everything going on. And then we'll take a walk along the promenade. It's super busy today. It's coming up to 12 o'clock. The waves are a bit choppy. The sun's out, 27 degrees, summer's arrived. And I was the holiday makers, so let's go and check it all out. So yeah, we're right on the corner by the sheds, and there's all the sheds just there, and uh, the ones down the bottom have been removed, and uh, they've started the new road layout. And as you can see, yeah, uh, a few more concrete pillars have gone up. The underground car park is supposed to be have been done. Project supposed to have been finished this summer. Could be going on the next summer because it doesn't look like anywhere in the near future. all the work going on here all the sheds have been removed around the side here this is where all the new roundabout road layout is of course of this big 19 million project in the port that's expected to be finished this summer i can't see it being finished next summer let alone this summer and uh this six car parks they've built to take all the tourism this summer because all the car park space has been removed from the arbor i reckon that's going to be done by the end of this summer i can't see that happening either but yeah just down there you've got the beautiful marina Absolutely nice there, a lot of nightclubs and uh, bars and discotheques. And we're just coming up now, gonna take a stroll along the uh, promenade, a bit choppy today. The old wee waves are chopping right up. Yeah, good day for surfing. But yeah, 12 o'clock, Sunday morning. And yeah, it's definitely holiday season now. June is official. And uh, if you think thinking of going anywhere else but Torre Vieja, I've just got back on my travels from Ibiza. If you want to check out that, you can go onto the channel, you can see all the videos of Ibiza, and also I've been to Tenerife and the Mallorca Islands. And of course, we came back to the UK doing some more videos of the UK. So we're covering all around Paradise World videos, of course. Yeah, people just sitting here, milling, and they, eh? just chilling out. Some are having a nice morning coffee. And of course, the hard, hardcore or any alcohol was already. Yeah, nice, eh? Just sit here, watch the waves. And uh, yeah, you've got your resident entertainment here. He takes the spot most of the days. And uh, yeah, you've got someone on the dance floor already giving it a few moves. Yeah, look at that, eh? Showing you how it's done. I think he's got his own guitar as well, there you go. Yeah, he's, he's chucking out a few tunes, I can see that. Yeah, that's it, you give it some. But yeah, all the seats are booked. Looky, look, he's out with sunglasses. Sun ain't quite broke through yet, we've got a few clouds. But come a few more hours, it'll be a lovely clear blue sky, as it always is on a Costa Blanca. We've got them out with the glasses. Incidentally, on the IB for Ireland, we was there, don't get to see any looky looky with his uh, t-shirts and fakes. They've cleaned it right up down now. You might get a few Karen Eod sunglasses, but yeah, they're not messing about on that island. Apparently the police are really strict. They don't take any crap from anybody. But no looky looky carrying his big blue bags around with all the t-shirt and trainers. Nah, they won't have it there. But I've seen Tori Viega, they don't mind. They just turn a blind eye. Yeah, it's lovely anyway. Uh, Tori Viega in June. Give it another month. Cool. You won't be able to walk along this promenade. And we've had some real scorching weather the last few days in the 30 degrees down here on the Costa Blanca. And that's in the shade. But they reckon this summer's going to be hotter than most summers, as they always say. So, August, we'll be back in the 40s. Incidentally, a lot of the Brits go home on August. They can't stand the heat. They leave their all of the homes and go back to the UK. As you know, UK don't get summers anymore and it's a lot cooler. So yeah, a lot of them go back. They just can't stand the heat. It is literally unbearable. Unless you're a sun worshiper and you like the sun. This one here having a little kit on the beach, I think. That one's disappeared, the clothes are there. Yeah, chillax, eh? Sunday morning. And yeah, we've got a couple on the beach down here. I think they need to get a room. 
bit early in the morning for all this uh, larkly. Go past the popular cafeteria area. Every year that changes its name. A very reasonable price, as I mentioned. So yeah, we're heading now up to uh, the other end of the Playa del Cura beach. This bit here in the middle, you don't get a lot of coves. And uh, which is great for the kids, of course. You can monitor them better. Yeah, this end here, like I say, the old coves, great for the kids. This is really the kids section just there. It's uh, easy to keep an eye on them, a bit shallower. And uh, yeah, they love it, don't they? This is the, the family section, I call it. And then you've got another little cove further along, which is also where all the kids gather. And right down the far end where we're going to be going. I'll say that's the adult beach. They soon will be another hour or so, It'll be lunchtime. But yeah, plenty of other bars open. God, you can hear them waves chopping up, can't you? Even the pigeons are running scared. So we're up the other popular part of the beach with the two coves just there and as you can see they've built a little platform three men one working two watching was doing that the other day but yeah this is the uh the middle part of playa de cura beach the ice cream section i suppose and the kitty beaches and of course you've got the disabled beach as well just over there and uh, the first aid Oh yeah, May holidays. May holidays and they're all out. And if you get your bucket and spade, you've got your shops for your bucket and spades, and your swimming trunks and your souvenirs. So yeah, it's a gorgeous little uh, promenade. Sorry, Bihika. It does um, show up the back streets a little bit. The back streets can be a bit nasty. As you see in the videos I've done on the graffiti and that, you've got the, the nice bits and then all of a sudden you get let down with all this uh, graffiti everywhere. But when you come along the promenade, it's just like a different world, isn't it? And there you go. Looks like they've, uh, they've done a dis different thing this year for the disabled. They've got it like enclosed benches rather than all chairs. But yeah, that's all up and running. You know summer's out when that's up and running. And down the other end, the sombrellos are already out. And the sun lounges. And of course, this man sandcastle gets bigger and bigger every time I come along here. And at night, he puts little candles on it and it all lights up. Of course, he probably has to guard it against vandalism. Yeah, many people say when I go back to the UK, what'd you do with yourself? Do you get bored? You must get bored all day. You can't get bored because there's so many beautiful places to go. As I've done videos on all these little uh, towns and villages and uh, all these beautiful beaches. and got the sunshine and just going for a lovely walk every day. You know, losing the calories as you do because you can easily pile them on if you're sitting around drinking and eating in bars. So yeah. Cannot get bored in Spain. Tell me, if you get bored in Spain, you're going to be lying. It's impossible. And everybody that comes here for holiday, they just don't want to go home. Do you blame them? This is paradise. Absolute paradise. And just along the promenade here, you've got the best fish and chips apparently, and it's uh, 28 euros for two people. There you go, the Seagull Restaurant. Appropriately named. 
as you know before this was a restaurant just here that's all been demolished now it's like a lookout tower people will have it for the selfies so yeah we're now coming up the far end and when you get to the right end of this beach during the morning time you tend to have the patankas all out and then a little patanka games and this bit of the beach you really have to get here early because it does get really really busy especially in a height for the summer it's busy now and we're not even reached the height for the summer but yeah it is like sardines absolutely chock a blocker And of course, uh, you've got your tourist information just here as well. Yep. If you need any tourist information. And there's also another one just up by the far end of the harbour. Yep. And that's where I'm not a nice a little uh, restaurants as well by the harbour. But yeah, not quite lunchtime yet. And you've got your rubber ring shops and all your souvenir shops along here as well. Plus you've got the pizza restaurant, they do menus of the day, and you're up the other end, you've got more cafeterias, get your salads, your tapas, and of course all your Mediterranean dishes. But if you fancy a pizza, burger and chips, you can get all that down there as well, right on the corner up there, you've got two or three to choose from. Here we go, all got their front row seats. Sometimes you get the chap here sending as well. A bit of uh, fresh fruit, lemons, oranges, and all things like that. So yeah, far corner here, this is where they normally play their patankas early in the morning. Of course, we won't be able to do it in the afternoon. Not now. There's someone doing a bit of paragliding over there in the distance as well. But, yeah. And uh, yeah, just on this corner is a fruit and veg man, what I told you about in this fruit and veg and this bars along here they're always super round you, you'll have to grab a seat when you can and it's early in the morning and they do set menus as well you can get one out for 17 euros there we go soup yeah a bit of a pork or whatever take your pick salad and a drink as well coffee and arms dessert 17 euros full summer here only for the booze And then there's your, your man with your fruit and veg. Yeah. And if you feel lucky enough, you can always get your lottery ticket. And there's plenty of lottery stands around here. It's fine, that's for sure. They do luck their lottery out here. You could do the Euro Millions, the Daily Lottery, they've got the Thursday, they've got the Saturday, they've got a lottery nearly every day. And apart from the special days as well, there's a big Christmas lottery. So yeah, they do like that lottery in Spain. But yeah, this is it. This is uh, Sunday morning, 12 o'clock. And uh, they're all woke up and they're out and they're living the dream. On Playa de Cura Beach on the Torre Vieja, Costa Blanca. So yeah, if you fancy coming down and having a bit of breakfast, a glass of sangria, these your prices. This one's a menu of day between 12 and 4. For 17.90. But yeah, plenty of restaurants to choose from. Let us know what you think of Playa de Cura Torrevieja. Is it your sort of place you want to visit? Or what do you think about this project? 19 million. They actually run out of money. They needed more money to carry on with a project. And it ain't going to be finished this year. And I'll tell you, we finish next year. We're talking, man, Thanks for watching the video. Let us know in the comments below what you think of all the topics today.